Okay, guys, thank you so much uh, for your patience. Um, as always, we have some amazing content to share with you today, but as always, um, I'm just gonna do the kind of classic test on any of these webinars and just make sure uh, that you can hear and see uh, myself uh, and Tony from Pagefly. So if you can hear me, you can see me, give me like a thumbs up, put a, uh, a yes in the chat. So that would be really useful guys. Um, Cause we don't want to, uh, perfect. Cool, everyone's kind of saying yes, love it. Cool, okay guys, we're just gonna give it like a couple of minutes, literally just to allow everyone to come in. There's a lot of people joining this live. Uh, it's gonna be a really valuable, amazing session. I cannot wait to share these pages with you. Um, so we're just gonna give it a couple of minutes and then Tony's gonna to get us kicked off uh, very, very shortly. Is everything okay on your side, Tony? Can you um, maybe talk just to make sure everyone can, can I hear you as well? Yeah, uh, hi Oliver, uh, yeah. Hello guys, uh, welcome to the, uh, this webinar. It's great to see you yeah, guys uh, uh, joining us here. Yeah, I can see you. Uh, can you hear me, uh, Oliver? Yes, yes, I can hear you perfectly. Guys, can you just also give us another yes if you can hear Tony okay as well? We don't want any important information to be missed. Perfect, okay, so we've got Steve. Guys, also, let us know in the chat right now whereabouts in the world you're joining us from. We're gonna kick this off very, very soon. Like I say, we've got loads and loads of people uh, joining us live, but uh, it'd be really interesting before we start this in a minute or two, just to know where you're joining from. Western Supermare, Liza, just down the road. New York, we've got India, Serbia. Uh, where else? Uh, NYC, Denmark, Georgia, Orange County, California, Ukraine, London. Fellow London, I love it. Well, I'm not from London, but UK, love it. Berlin, Pakistan, Copenhagen, amazing. So we've got everyone from all different sides of the planet, which is really, really cool. So we appreciate you so much for being here, guys. Um, we really do. Uh, and like I said, we are, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Are you happy, Tony? All good? Yeah, I'll, all good. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, if you, uh, you want to share your screen and get this started, that'd be amazing. Okay, great. Uh, let me start. Uh... Okay. Okay. Seems to be okay. Uh, participants. Yeah. So yeah, let's uh, get started. If you click present in the top right, it should, yeah, you should be able yeah. to do that quite full screen. Yep. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, hello guys. <clears throat> uh, hi again. Uh, so today is the webinar uh, uh, we co-host with uh, Conversion Wise. Um, uh, and the webinar is how to skyrocket your page by conversion rates uh, with all your uh, Kenyan. And uh, yeah, it's it's great actually uh, opportunity. And thanks uh, Oliver for actually co-hosting with us uh, with this great webinar. And so, uh, yeah, uh, because uh, today is the uh, webinar, uh might be some um uh oh, some uh, guys of you you might not uh, know about page why or me so just a little bit about myself and uh, page why just a few minutes so uh i'm co-founder uh, and a growth affiliate manager at page why so uh, i've been uh doing growth marketing and currently um my role is the mentorship at page why team have been doing conversion rate optimization for Shopify merchants and uh, uh, SEO uh, for five plus years experience and have some knowledge about uh, industry uh, because, uh, well, Peshwa is the, as you know, uh, Shopify page builder and we have been since September uh, 2017. So until now we have uh, around, 150,000 uh, plus uh, active uh, Shopify merchants, including plus merchants. Uh, on the Shopify App Store, we have over 6,000 uh, positive reviews uh, with uh, 130 plus uh, Shopify and Shopify plus partners. We have also uh, integrations with uh, 60 uh, different elements. And so, well, um, in short, uh, Peshwai is uh, drag and drop uh, page, uh, page collectively in these uh, holiday seasons. Uh, 
Next, uh, we have about uh, 70, uh, plus, 70 plus uh, helpful ele elements that can uh, help you actually build uh, robust landing pages. Uh, later on, actually, Oliver will show you how to do that. Uh, and so uh, the experience with building pages, it, uh, seamless, it, it has seamless experience on across all devices, whether uh, it's on the mobile or tablet devices. So pages built with PageFly, it's uh, fully optimized for all devices. And uh, the latest thing is a uh, free plan available for lifetime. We have been uh, introducing uh, the free plan since September 2017. And until now, uh, five plus years, we still keep free plan just to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to export the product without actually trial days. And with free plan, you can actually explore all features of the web shop. So, um, and uh, the latest things uh, is about live chat support. We have been doing uh, providing chat uh, support 24 hours and seven days uh, per week, uh, 365 days per year. And it's, it's truly live chat support. It's not the bot uh, support, it's chat. And every, whether you are in the London, for example, Paris, uh, New York City, Singapore or Hanoi here, uh, you can actually experience the same quality of uh, support, uh, even technical support. And during especially holiday season, it will be much more important. So we already prepared for this uh, season and we already started increasing the uh, support capacity with infrastructure to serve uh, Shopify merchants. So yeah, and um, now uh, I'll take, uh, uh, and now Oliver will continue actually uh, the main topics. So Amazing. yeah. Please, or yes, of course. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Guys, just before I get stuck in, um, I just want to double check as well that you can see and hear me. So if you can, please, I'm just going to share my screen as well. Uh, I just need some yeses in the uh, chat box before I get started and take you through what you're going to learn on this webinar. Uh, cool. Can we see? Yes. Cool. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm not going to waste any of your time. I want to get into this real in-depth content. I want to show you some real life examples. I'm going to be building a live page with you. But first and foremost, let's just quickly cover what you're going to learn on today's webinar. So we're going to show you how to make page size templates convert like crazy. Okay, so these already convert well, but we're going to add some little elements. We're going to discuss the perfect page layout and show you how we can take them from here and literally skyrocket the conversion rates of these templates. We're going to show you some high impact elements that will have huge, huge uplifts on your conversion rates. And obviously conversion rates are so, so important. It's often the difference between a profitable and an unprofitable campaign. We're also going to discuss the perfect product page layout. Okay, so we're going to cover on this workshop right now, uh, what a perfect product page looks like from the perspective of high conversions. And we're also going to say, uh, show you how you can make these changes without any help. That's the beauty of using something like PageFly. Okay, you don't need designers, you don't need developers, you don't need to use expensive agencies. Uh, you can do these things yourself. And I'm going to show you the back end builder of PageFly and show you exactly how you can do that. So first and foremost, who is this British guy that's speaking to you? Uh, why do I have the authority to share my knowledge with you and share what I've done with you in the past? Well, I founded, uh, I started online in 2013. Um, I, I sorry, 2010, I originally started in affiliate marketing, uh, specifically CPA marketing, cost per action. So I was building pages myself. I was running campaigns. I was an affiliate for lots of different advertisers. Uh, and then I built the largest ever affiliate community online, which is still the largest ever affiliate community online. It's called Affiliate Fix. It has 230,000 plus members. Um, and I sold that business to Neil Patel in 2017. Alongside Affiliate Fix, and thanks to Affiliate Fix, the community that I started, I found my co-founder, Andy. And together with Andy in 2013, we started a company called Landing Page Guys. For the first eight years of our business, seven years to eight years, we were actually called Landing Page Guys, uh, and the clue was in the name. We re recently rebounded to ConversionWise, but this business has been going for nearly 10 years. So ConversionWise was about 10 years old, and we have spoken across the world at some of the biggest events in the world, the biggest affiliate marketing, performance marketing events in the world about basically CRO. How can you increase your conversion rates? And we do things differently. I'm going to touch on this a little bit in a minute, but we don't do the typical CRO where it's kind of run media, 
do split tests, see which one converts, run more media, lose, win, lose, win. It takes a long, drawn-out process. It costs lots of money. It takes up lots of data. We do things a different way, and I'm about to show you that. We've worked with thousands of companies, some of the biggest direct response companies in the world, including the likes of Unilever, Bodybuilding.com, SlimFast, Lotus Biscuits, Manny Pacquiao, T-Pain, uh, Tim Bird, Chandler Welling, and so, so many, many more. And now we are a team of 30 plus conversion rate experts who design, develop, integrate pages and educate people on how to skyrocket your conversion rates. We have one company mission and that company mission is how can we make high conversion rates achievable for everyone? And everything we do, including this free webinar today, has that company mission behind it. As I explained, we do this via our method, which is called conversion design. Now, if you look at this graph very, very quickly, you'll be able to see that the blue line is conversion design and the red line is CRO, conversion rate optimization. And as I said, typical traditional conversion rate optimization is whereby you guess, you rely on guesswork as what may convert. You drive media, you obviously spend money driving that media to your landing pages and you don't know the outcome. It might dip in conversion rate, it might increase in conversion rate, but you're relying on guesswork. It takes a long time, it's hit and miss, and it costs a lot of money. What I'm going to share with you on this workshop today is based on fact. It's based on 10 years of data of working with some of the biggest customers, generate millions, if not billions of dollars in revenue uh, via landing pages and funnels. And it's our blueprint that we've stuffed into a checklist that means that if you put things in the right place at the right points on your landing pages, you are going to launch at a far higher starting point than six months worth of CRO. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today. Okay, so this is our 139 point conversion rate checklist and it's growing all the time. Now, if you stick around to the end of the workshop, I am going to give you an exclusive, we've never done this before. Uh, we've literally never sold this checklist, the one-off item before, uh, but we're gonna give you an exclusive workshop only uh, opportunity to buy the entire checklist, but I am gonna cover so many of these points today and show you live hand how to build uh, a really high converting pro uh, product page inside PageFly, okay? So stick around to the end, as I said, because we have exclusive webinar special offer for that checklist at the end. And we're also going to be giving the opportunity to download the exact export of this product page that I'm going to cover today so that you can easily just import it using PageFly's incredible import feature and have this product page up and running in minutes. But if you don't want to do that, as I said, I'm going to cover every single element on that product page today that is built to convert like crazy. So before I get into it, guys, can I get some hands up? I'm going to look in this chat. I want to get loads and loads of hands up of who is ready to see and watch me build a high converting product page. Okay, so we've got loads of raised hands, 9, 10, 11, 12 raised hands. Love it. Everyone's saying, me, me, ready, 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 ready. Love it, guys. I'm loving the anticipation. I'm building this up today. I'm buzzing. I'm really excited to share this with you. Cool. We've got two hands up. I like that. Thumbs up, hands up. Lots of things coming in. Guys, I am so appreciative of you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do not want to disappoint you. As I said, I go back to our company mission. We share lots of information for free because we want to make high conversion rates achievable for everyone. It's often a bit of the puzzle that people forget. And they, they rely on things like media and traffic in order to increase their revenue and, and rely on the guesswork of CRO. We like to give facts based on data that's inside this checklist that I'm going to share with you now. So first and foremost, I'm going to open up my PageFly editor. Now, for those of you on this workshop, a lot of you on this workshop, and by the way, guys, I speak very, very quickly. I'm hugely passionate and driven by what I teach. So if there's something that doesn't make sense, please use the QA or the chat box. We will have time for questions at the end. OK, but I do go quite quickly because, like I say, I'm hugely passionate about this and I tend to get quite into it. So please, please, please feel free to use that chat um, and uh, and use the QA section. OK, I will come back and answer any questions. I am here until we are finished. OK, so this is the page five page builder. Um, I have been in the industry for 10 plus years and I have to say for the first six or seven years, 
we were very against page builders. We didn't like them. Uh, we didn't think they were flexible enough. They couldn't give us the right results. And we thought that everyone, we advised everyone to go custom build. And what that means is HTML, CSS, raw static code, custom build. I'm the first to hold my hands up and say in the last couple of years, some of these builders have become very, very good and are brilliant for what they are. Pagefly is at the top of that pile for me, okay? I've been using Pagefly personally now for the last year or so, uh, and we've tested out a lot of builders, and Pagefly is a, a super, super great software. So I would recommend using it, okay? So for those of you who don't use Pagefly right now, I'll quickly explain how it works. You can set templates. So you set up a template, you quickly install Pagefly via an app inside Shopify, takes literally a matter of seconds. By the way, guys, I am non-technical. Uh, I am not a technical. I have a co-founder, Andy, uh, who is super, super technical. That's not me. Um, I am non-technical. So it's very, very easy to uh, install uh, Pagefly. Uh, and then you can have uh, utilize their templates. You can either build from scratch or you can utilize their templates. This page here was built on top of Pagefly's most popular, most used template. Now we have customized it of course we have because we have uh years of experience and data into seeing how can we take what already works and boost it further and i'm going to break down all the elements like i said and give you an opportunity to buy this to get this at the end but the point being you can choose whatever page you want whatever template you want and implement the things i'm going to teach you on this on this uh on this workshop so everything inside the editor is, is editable. As I said, you can drag and drop, you can add elements, you can click here and add different blocks. They have loads of predefined blocks, everything that you kind of would need as far as uh, testimonial sections, FAQs, call to actions, images, um, and everything like that. You can also predefine uh, how many grids you want on the page, uh, how you want your page to be laid out. And it's super, super, super flexible. So, uh, this is like the back end. And again, I will, I, will, I will switch to the front end of the page and then I'll come back into the builder to show you how we've done it. I'm going to have a look at the front end of this page. And this is where I'm going to start explaining to you how you can optimize your pages for conversions and point out the important elements. Now, the biggest mistake that anyone on this workshop, and we have hundreds watching, we're also going to get thousands watching this replay. The biggest mistake you can do is by not taking action, by not implementing what I'm going to teach you, because if nothing changes, nothing changes, okay? You need to make these changes to see an increase in conversion rate. Each one of these elements that I'm gonna walk you through will increase your conversion rate, maybe a little, maybe a lot, but when you start to compound everything, you'll see these huge, huge uplifts in conversion rates, okay? And that's what I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start at the top here. So this toolbar is actually created inside the Shopify theme. It's not created inside Pagefly. So you go into Shopify, if you're using 2.0, you go into online store, theme editor, customize your theme, and you go to the toolbar. But there's some really important uh, uh, points of how do you build a high converting toolbar. One is you hit on seasonality. Okay, so first and foremost, you'll see how this says autumn sale now on. I'm, ping, I'm picking out the, the, the season that we're in right now. When it comes to winter, I'm going to put winter sale. Okay, so autumn sale now on. Call out your sale because most people are running sales, especially when it comes to Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, New Year, et cetera. You typically will have a sale on. So autumn sale now on. Limited stock. So I'm getting my scarcity into that title. And then mention your shipping uh, threshold. So if you if you offer free, free shipping over $50, mention that on your toolbar. So there's two or three things you need to touch on your toolbar. The other important elements are emojis. And it sounds stupid, but it makes it pop and also using an alternative color to your color palette. So notice how this is blue. There is no other blue, I know what you're gonna say, but there's no other blue above the fold. So this blue pops out. Now you're gonna say that this is blue and this is blue, and this is part of the toolbar. This, this pads the toolbar out, okay? We want to remind the customer of the sale in the toolbar by the buy buttons, okay? So if you have a sale on, and you use strike through, and this is really, really easy to do inside Pagefly. They provide a widget for you, so you can just uh, easily strike through. Um, then you want to uh, call that sale out so it's consistent with the toolbar, okay? And all these things may sound stupid. A lot of them are logical. A lot of them are common sense. A lot of them play on psychologies of users uh, who visit your page, but they all are super important. So make sure that your color of your toolbar is the same color as the... Uh, as the payment uh, options, so the payment price points on your landing page. It's consistency. 
first and foremost, I read that there's a sale on, then it's backed up by the continuity between the colors of the price point and the toolbar. Okay. Also, I, I recommend adding something like this that says autumn sale pricing applied. I'm going to keep repeating myself on a lot of these things, but you need to treat your consumers as if they're three years old. Okay. A lot of people will not know that the sale pricing is auto been applied. So tell them, walk them through, hold their hand. So by having a little uh, call out like this, and guys, this is why I say you don't need a design developer. This is literally a bit of text with a background. So PageFly gives me the ability to have text here, I've bolded the text, and then I go to styling. And what I've done is I've uh, added a color to the background, the same color that's the, the, the color in my toolbar, okay? So making sure there's consistency between those two points is really, really gonna help with the conversion rates. There are five key elements that we need above the fold in order to increase our conversion rates, okay? Element number one is a strong value proposition. We normally do that in our product page type, in our page title. So this is our product title effectively. It's this bit here. Now we know, especially if we're on Shopify and we're using PageFly, we edit this within the, pay, uh, the Shopify settings. You go to products, you select your product and you edit the title. Now, unless you're doing Google shopping or you're very uh, high on search traffic where you need to uh, call out a specific tag in that H1 tag in the page title without getting geeky, guys, uh, then you need to use something that's more emotive than just the product name. So notice here how we've gone for conversion bit. Ah, I forgot to explain. By the way, guys, we just dreamed up this conversion bit product as of an example. It doesn't matter what you're selling. This will apply to you. Our checklist applies to you no matter what niche or what vertical you're in. But we've just dreamed up this conversion-wise male vitamin product. There's a lovely cheesy picture of me on the bottle uh, just to give you guys some uh, an example of a product. But it could be anything. But look, conversion bit. And then we mentioned the benefit. Get healthier and happier in seven days. Now, if I just had the product title there, conversion bit, that would be no way enough of a value proposition that it would keep people interested in my product when they land on the page. Okay, you have between three and five seconds above the fold to get people's attention. And the biggest way to do that is via that value proposition uh, before they drop off or bounce. So it's super important, like I say, to utilize your product titles and to make them more emotive and capture that headline. So number one is value proposition. Number two is social proof. Okay, how can we get some form of uh, social proof above the fold? How can we showcase that people are approving of this product? Well, the easiest way here is to use something like this, okay? We're in the UK, uh, so we're using Trustpilot icons because people associate with Trustpilot. I know it is pretty much global, but if, say, for example, you're uh, in, in, a, in a country where Google is more, prof uh, more recognizable, then use like Google uh, uh, icons or, or logos here. Uh, but notice how we don't just stop, and this is an image, by the way, we don't just stop by saying 4.9 out of 5. Now, a lot of you, and PageFly integrates with a lot of the top uh, uh, social proof widgets, but a lot of those widgets will just say 4.9 out of 5 stars. It's not good enough, okay? We need to, in order to increase our conversion rates, we need to go the extra mile, like you do on your ads, like you do on your creative. Don't negate the conversion rate optimization on your pages. So we add a strap line to the end. 4.9 out of 5 by hundreds of happy customers. You might want to use something like verified, happy, okay? But make sure you add that little bit of text to the end of your rating and you will increase your conversion rates. Also, for those of you who use unrealistic ratings like 5 out of 5, they're not believable. People don't want to buy. Make sure it sounds stupid, but mark it down. 4.8, 4.9 converts better than 5 out of 5. So 2 is social proof, okay? That's an easy way, especially on mobile, because it only takes up one line of real estate. Uh, and by the way, obviously, PageFly has a fully responsive settings, uh, but it's an easy way to get that social proof uh, above the fold. Number 2. Number 3 is trust, trust and credibility. How can we showcase to a cold consumer that's clicked an ad or come via an email or search via organic that we are trustable, trust, trusting and reputable company. How can we showcase that? Okay, so we do it via things like this, okay? Trust icons, okay? So if you can showcase, again, this is really simple to do in PageFly, I'll show you the builder. I just added one block of one row with four different elements and then it's image and text. It's super, super simple. You do not need 
you know, de graphic designers, you do not need anything like this. By the way, all these graphics are available in our um, Conversion Rate Academy. I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end, but you can just go to conversionrateacademy.com and inside you can get all these graphics. Um, but trust is super, super important. So things like free returns, money back guarantees, COVID safe 24 seven, okay? Anything that you can put uh, above the fold in with icons and text is gonna help your conversion rates, okay? So think about your product. It may be something that's like vegan friendly, made in the US, like those things work really, really well as well, but often it's to do with like guarantees and free returns and, and, and fast deliveries. And the other way we can get trust in above the fold is via these icons here, okay? So having payment icons by your buy buttons will really help increase your conversion rates. The reason is psychologically, and it happens subconsciously, it's not something that you stop and think about. If I'm a cold consumer and I'm on Facebook and I'm clicking an ad and I go through to a product page like this and I see logos of Amex, PayPal, MasterCard, Visa, I subconsciously think that these companies must, as merchants, must trust this brand. Therefore, I trust those companies and I trust this company. Okay, so these little logos really help with credibility. So number, I think that was three is trust. Number four is strong product imagery. Okay, you should always start this image here. And by the way, I'm going to cover as much as I can in the kind of, uh, you know, 45 minutes or whatever we've got on this workshop. Uh, but Inside that checklist, there's there's way more that you can go into more detail, but I know we've only got a certain amount of time, so I just want to give you as much value as possible. Um, this product image should always be the image that you use on your ads, if you use like a raw image like this. So again, it's all about that consistency and continuity. So if you have an ad of a bottle like this, put this as the first image. The other images, forgive the cheesiness, uh, should be UGC content and professionally shot pictures. So make sure in that image uh, scroll there, you have user generated content. The more organic, the better it will convert. So you don't need models. You don't need professional shot pictures, although AI is now going to do this for you. Uh, just have a picture of your friends, your family, a, a consumer, a user with your product, holding your product. Uh, that's super, super important. And I'm going to get to your QAs in a second, but the fifth most important element above the fold is a strong call to action. On mobile, on desktop, make sure you have a strong call to action above the fold. And we're going to go into detail about call to actions. So as I said, I'm just going to quickly show you the page fly editor. These are all very, very simple to do. Okay. This is just an image. This is just an image. This is generated from your product description. These are just a row. It took me 10 minutes to set this up. You know, this whole page, this is the beauty of something like PageFly. This whole page probably took me about an hour to build. Um, obviously, as I said, we will give you a chance to get this product page at the end of the workshop. But if you don't, it's here for you. I'm walking you through it. The other important element above the fold is urgency or scarcity. So having something like this by your buttons that says low in stock or available now, with a, a, a visual, if, by the way, you can't get hold of any of these images, these are all in our academy, by the way, but if you can't get hold of an image like this, just literally using the green circle emoji with a bit of text will really work as well. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have a sip of my water before we scroll down this page. I'm gonna have a look at these QAs and the chat, uh, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a couple of questions coming in. I want these vitamins, Danielle. <laughs> I'll feed the, them to my website servers. Maybe it works. I love that. Perfect. Cool. All right, guys, keep your questions. That's perfect. Um, who's enjoying this? Is this making sense? Is this useful? Raise your hand. Let me know before we scroll to the next section. Are you, have, you, have you discovered something new? Have you discovered something that you're going to implement after this uh, workshop? Whoa, I think we've literally got like half the workshop raising their hand. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Cool. All right, guys, you want me to continue? Let's do it. Right. So as we scroll down the fold, okay, so as we scroll past that first section, and again, I'm going to switch and revert back to the page fly builder just to show you how this is done. But as we scroll past, we follow what you've probably heard of, but it's called the ADA principle. Okay, so it stands for attention, which we've done above the fold with our value proposition and those five key elements. Now we're going to pique people's interest. And there's a specific way to do this. And a lot of people get this wrong. So this is a section that a lot of you will do wrong, okay? 
And this is why uh, Shopify 2.0 is great if you have themes um, because you can drag and drop sections, but PageFly just allows you to do this a lot quicker and easier. And I'll show you in a minute. If you can have another form of trust and social proof uh, by linking, or not even linking, but showcasing uh, logos of companies that you have been featured in or recommended by or partnered with, then make sure you smack them here just below the fold. Okay, it's another form of trust and credibility. I always gray them out because I don't wanna take focus away from our brand. Uh, but this is a really, really important step. But this step is far more important, okay? People forget this. In our interest section, the second section of your landing page should basically explain the transformation. It should explain how someone's going to get your product and then how it's going to transform their lives via a benefit, okay? So how do we do it? Very emotive headline, okay? Don't just put something like, three simple steps or get our product. Think about it. Think anywhere in your copy where you can mention a benefit of your product, do so. Live a healthier, more prosperous life in three simple steps. Boom, okay, look how powerful that is. Then we showcase the steps. We showcase one, two, three as a transformation. Step one, order instantly today. Look at the buzzword, instantly. Order instantly today. Click add to cart button securely, okay? We bold the keywords. Step two, and put the actual steps, the text steps, okay? We ship within 24 hours. Okay, that's ticked a box for me in my head. I can order instantly, they ship within 24 hours. And then three is always the perceived benefit. It's not that you get your product. Be healthy equals be happy. Notice how we didn't say here, your product is delivered or you'll get your product, like boring. People don't wanna hear it. They want to see the transformation that this product is gonna take me through, okay? So that's really, really important in step three. Be healthy, be happy. We're talking about a vitamin product. If say, for example, I was selling dog treats, healthy dog treats, this might say something like, um, uh, give, give your dog the life he deserves. Uh, have your furry friend happy and healthy. Okay, it, it's, it's not delivered the product. Okay, so that's really, really important in this section. Okay, guys, I'm uh, just going to answer a couple of these QAs as we go through each section. How do I know my headline works? Um, okay, so there's, there's when, when you, if you're talking about value proposition above the fold, there's some key, key things for your headlines. Mention, uh, mentioning numbers is good. Uh, odd numbers work better. Keep it between seven and 10 and mention a benefit. When it comes to this section, it's the transformation that you're saying. Okay, so hopefully that's uh, that's answered that. Uh, can I click answered live? Yeah, done, cool. Uh, answered live. Hey, Ollie, fellow Brit here, love it. If we're selling higher cost items, should we dial back on emojis, selling fast banners in favor of more minimalistic approach? Okay, love it. This question gets asked all the time and it's uh, an age old argument between brand and sales. My answer to you as a CRO expert and someone who's been doing this for 10 years is no. If you want to make more money, what I'm teaching you works. If you want to protect your brand and are not scared, that's the wrong word because I understand why you wouldn't, but you are uh, in fear of emojis having an effect on your brand, then just leave them out. There's some things you don't have to do, but they will increase your conversion rates. And we'll talk about emojis and call to actions as well in a minute. Uh, but it's, it's an age old argument. We have an agency where we do like 50 projects per month for different companies. And it's normally fashion brands or high end high ticket brands that will argue and say, you know, we don't want emojis on our buttons. We don't want vibrant buttons. And we say, okay, well, you don't want to make more money. And, and it's, you know, they're paying us a lot of money to, uh, to make them more money. So it makes our job harder, but that's my answer, unfortunately. You know, things you don't feel comfortable with, leave out, but you probably will leave money on the table. Okay, Joseph said, what would be uh, step three for a friction book? Cool. Okay. So step three, it's the same process. Order now, whether or not it's delivered or it's di digi uh, digitally delivered, it doesn't matter. So step one is order now. Instantly get access uh, if you do. So, so step one is order now. If it's a digital book, say instantly get access now. If it's a physical book, we ship within 24 hours. And then number three, that benefit is what's the benefit? I'm, I, know, I know what it is, but I'm asking you, what's the benefit? of someone reading your book, okay? Typically, something like a fiction book or a non-fiction book is like, uh, you know, get lost in an immersive world. Or if it's fiction, it's uh, something like, um, it depends what the niche is. But let's say, for example, it's a book about uh, investments. The benefit is, uh, the, the third step would be something like, 
earn more money, enjoy it and, and live happier. Okay, so it depends what your book is about, but just the benefit of that book is the next section. Cool, I'm going to move on, guys. I'm just going to quickly show you this in the back end. So again, these are super simple to build with rows, columns. This is just simple text. Um, Pagefly gives me a really, really uh, nice way to set the uh, state of the title. I can then go to uh, down here and I can set the font families. I can set global font families as well. So I don't have to keep doing this per one, which is really, really nice. These again are just rows of images, really, really simple. Um, I can change the, the, the background colors of each block as well. Uh, so I can switch between white and, and, uh, and, uh, and gray. Um, again, just a simple title. These are just three columns. So I set a new row. I set it with three columns up here. Uh, so I would go layout and you can see here like three columns. So I just dragged that into the editor. Uh, these are just icons that I've used, which again are inside here. Uh, forgive me if I just search icon. There you go. Boom. You have a whole icon library. And these are text as well. So super, super simple. Nice product image. If I say nice, it's of me. It's probably not that nice. Uh, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we're in the interest section still. Ada, attention, we've done that above the fold. We're now peaking our interest, first and foremost with the transformation. Now we're into the interest section, okay? The interest section is all about the benefits, okay? There's two, there's three sections. You have the transformation in interest. So you start with the transformation I've just shown you. Then you go into benefits, then you go into features. You do not go features, transformation benefits you don't go features benefits transformation you you do it in this order so transformation benefit features now i am a product owner we have multiple e-commerce stores uh we have ran seven figure e-commerce stores over the last three four years we have obviously conversion wise we have an academy we have several products i have the checklist that i'm offering to you exclusive today which we built a landing page for it's very very easy to slip into a habit of talking about the features of your product you're proud of your product. So you typically go after the feature, okay? Now the feature is say, for example, that this bottle is fully recyclable. The feature is that this includes zinc, saffron, and 10 other incredible ingredients, okay? They are all features that will help sell, but benefits are more important. So there's a cliche saying, I hate saying it, but it's benefits sell, uh, features tell benefits sell. Okay, so we stick with benefits first. So this section is all about describing how people benefit from your product. So look at this, be a better and healthier version of you with conversion bit. Not mentioning anything about the product itself. I'm not mentioning anything about the ingredients, nothing about the, the bottles, nothing about the patented technology behind this. I know this isn't a technical product, but if it is, uh, I'm not mentioning about for example, the, the, the author of the book, if you're selling the book, first and foremost, it's the benefits. Get all the vitamins and minerals your body needs in one delicious gummy. Boom. Nutrients your body needs in one go. Again, I haven't touched on what those nutrients are. I'm just touching on what are the, what is the benefit of people taking my multivitamin. And this is a huge mistake we see people make all the time. They go feature, feature heavy. It's especially, uh, especially happens on things like electrical products. Let's take, for example, a, a electrical toothbrush, okay? Most people would start by going, the rotation is 360. It has a, it has a camera attached to the bomb. It's got an amazing timer. Uh, it, the battery lasts a 24 hour, like feature, feature, feature. Instead of saying it gives your teeth a new life, you get healthier, longer lasting teeth. You're the envy of all your friends because of the whiteness of your teeth. Uh, you, you, you go back 10 years because of how great you look. Okay. That's what you need to start with here. Okay. So this section here should all be about the benefit. Okay. And by the way, if you grab this page template at the end, it's super, super easy just to switch these all out. You can switch these icons. Again, these, these are uh, simple icons that are all available inside of PageFly. Like you could change this into your page uh, within, I reckon, 10 minutes. That's how easy PageFly makes it. Um, okay. As we go down the fold, we have call to actions. So don't just have something at the top and then don't repeat your call to actions. Don't over repeat them. But at this stage, we would repeat our call to actions. Now let's talk call to actions quickly. I'm going to take questions on call to actions if you have them, but first let me explain. Wherever there is a call to action, there's super, super thing, important things you need to mention, uh, you need to do. You need buffers alongside your call to actions. So one, you need social proof as a buffer and you need trust. So never post a button anywhere on your page without having a testimonial 
or having payment seals underneath it. Okay, that's really, really important. This is going to dramatically increase your CTR. When it comes to the button itself, notice how this color is so different to anything else on the page. Stands out, okay? People make the mistake again. And, and forgive me, I think it was David who asked about the high ticket. When you are protecting your brand, you typically want to have your button colors the same color as your lovely brand. You spent hundreds of thousands of pounds developing an incredible brand and you don't want to waste it by having vibrant or buttons that stand out. Well, that's fine. But again, you are literally leaving money on the table. So pick a color that is the opposite of your brand color and that doesn't feature on your page for your call to actions. Otherwise, people just miss them. OK, so that's really, really important. Make sure they stand out. When it comes to the terminology on your call to actions, use something like get mine now, grab mine now, rush my order. OK, don't use the old boring ad, add to car, add mine, buy now. If you do use add to cart, use add to cart now. You want to really encourage that doing word, okay? Add to cart now, get it now, instantly now, okay? That's really important. And of course, we've touched on emojis. We've tested hundreds of different emojis, so many lines of data. And still to date, we were probably the first company to put emojis on buttons in the CRO world. Still to date, this one converts better than any other. Now you will see, hundreds if not thousands of landing pages all over the net with these uh button these emojis on their buttons and saying get mine now and that was us so it makes me laugh when i see these online when i'm buying christmas presents and they've changed their buttons and stuff um we were the first company to do it so it's really really cool to see that but i the reason i think is because it's a directional cue it's actually pointing to the next step and i think that's really really important so think about that as well does anyone have any questions whilst i have a sip of my drink uh about um buttons and CTAs. Okay, guys, I'm just reading through these questions. Um, it'd be really good. I'm going to read through these ones now quickly, but it'd be really good if you could use the Q&A section because it just allows me to see just the questions, but I'll read through these now. Um, so Brandon's saying, what if you sell a $2,000 product, six months factory backup to ship, stainless steel storage? Okay, I'm going to answer that one at the end because um, that's a bit more of a long-winded question. Um, do you re recommend using these product pages, or landing pages, or creating specific landing pages with different elements? Okay, so, so most of these I'm going to answer at the end just because they're not related to what I'm on here. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm going to do I'm going to do the Q and A at the end because these ones are not related. Uh, guys, if you have a question, if you could just do me a favor and post it to the Q&A uh, section of this, um, that's going to be really, really helpful because I can just have concise questions. I'm just going to carry on. Um, okay, cool. So let's have a look at the uh, the testimonials. These are super easy to do inside PageFly. Again, it's just a block. You can drag and drop these elements. This is the best thing about PageFly. It's super, super flexible uh, to move elements around. You can actually just copy blocks as well. So you don't have to keep repeating yourself. You can copy a block. I can then drag it. Say, for example, I want to show two testimonials. Um, I can drag it to a new section. Uh, and that's the beauty of, uh, of PageFly and how kind of flexible it is. So um, it's, it's really, really simple to use. Like I said, I am non-technical um, and it's just super, super simple. Right. We've touched on our, we've touched on our benefits. We're still in the interest section. Now we can go into features. Okay. So this is where we can go feature heavy. So for a product like uh, our Multivit, um, which by the way, we're going to create and you guys are all going to buy at the end of this webinar and make me rich. Uh, for a product like Multivit, I'm going to get you on subscriptions as well. Um, then it's really important to mention things like the ingredients. So this is where we can say like jam packed with key ingredients to skyrocket your health. Again, think of the terminology, think of the, 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 the buzzwords that you're using, skyrocket, benefit, buzz, uh, all these words are going to help you increase your conversion rates. So this is where we have nice product imagery. We shout out like things like the ingredients. So again, on your electrical toothbrush, this is where you could call out the, the camera, the timer, the battery, uh, the, the nozzle on the head. You can call out your packaging, your vegan friendly, et cetera. This is where you do this. Uh, and again, notice it's not just plain text. We're having an image. We're then bolding some of the key phrases within your text to make it stand out. Okay. So this is exactly where we can mention the features of your product. Again, call to action. And we'll talk about the, the sorry, 
talk to action with the two buffers, social proof and trust, and we'll talk about breaking down the testimonial in our next session. So we've now been through the interest section. We peak people's interest. We are lucky enough that they have scrolled through our landing page. And I don't say that lightly. You are lucky if people keep scrolling through your landing page, and this is how you do it. We've taken them through the interest section. They're now interested. What do we do next? D, desire. We make them desire our product via social proof. Okay, so this could be case studies, testimonials, reviews, videos, UGC content, anything like that. Okay, so this is our social proof se section. Okay, so we use, again, if you just have a title that says testimonials, reviews, like boring, okay, put a number to it, put a benefit to it. Let me associate with the target demographic when I'm viewing this page, trusted by 1,032 plus awesome males who are living a healthier life. Okay, I wrote that in like five seconds. You can think of these amazing headlines that will increase your conversions. When it comes to the testimonial section, there's some important things when you have testimonials. Now, I know a lot of you people will be using uh, apps, uh, for example, looks, etc., that PageFly will easily uh, integrate with. However, if you can, and even if you just have like three like this, and then you embed your, uh, your, your testimonial, um, FIFA or looks or whatever you want to use, there's some really important rules about how you make testimonials convert higher. One, have images of the person. It's super, super important. If you just have plain text uh, testimonials, no images, they're going to convert way, way less. They're going to be way, way less believable. So if you can get images of your person, make sure you have them. If you can get images of your person's screenshot or, or, or taking a selfie using your product, even better. Okay, that's going to convert even more. Have a strap line, and this is easy to do in PageFly, takes two seconds, above your testimonial that calls out the most important statement within inside that testimonial, okay? So have that strap line, okay? Call it out, pull it out at the top. A lot of people, myself included, are lazy and they won't read blocks of text. I just want to see that quick, quick snapshot. It's another tick in my mind. I want to buy this product, okay? So call out the perfect one. Repeat the stars. I know this looks like a lot of stars, but repeat it shove it in front of people's faces if you don't want to use the trust by the icons all of these are available in our academy by the way these images but if you don't want to use them uh use emojis just go to emojipedia.com type in star grab the star emoji add a text block inside page fly here and literally just paste the stars it's just as good okay but repeat the stars by each testimonial and then lastly when it comes to the testimonial itself keep it one to two paragraphs Make sure the text is big enough that people can read it and bold some of the key phrases. So notice here, give me more energy, fun playing with my kids, must use, more productive, everyday, perfect remedy. Notice how my brain read those things in about two seconds. If I had to read through the whole testimonial to pick them out, I would just ignore them. So put shit in front of people's faces, okay? Honestly, it will help your conversion rates. You can see I get really passionate about this because we have 10 years of experience building this checklist. When it comes to the name, Make sure if you can use first and last name, makes it more believable. Don't just put Bill S or Bill, Bill Smith, more believable. Okay, so we've touched on testimonials in that desire section. Now, there's one important section that needs to go in between your testimonials and your call to action at the bottom inside that ADA principle. And that's an FAQ. And a lot of people don't do this. And if you don't, you are leaving money on the table. Again, this is so, so easy to inside PageFly Search for FAQ. I uh, can't remember what this called, what they call it. Um, maybe the guys will tell you at the end, but this is a super simple block that you can just import and really easily add an FAQ section to your page. It's so, so easy to do. Inside your FAQ, you should have seven to 10 questions. The first few questions should typically in econ be about the uh, orderability and deliverability of your product. So how do I order? How quick will it get to me? Do you ship here? Do you offer returns? Those questions are very generic to a Shopify, to an e-com store. But then you want to get a couple of questions that are specific to your product. The whole point of this FAQ section is you do not want to give anyone the excuse to leave your page without buying your product because they have a question in their head. Normally, if they do, they Google it. Your competitor then has them or their, their buying instinct has gone. So put the questions that you want answered people want answered inside this section all i say to people is send your send your product off to five strangers or five friends who don't know what it is have them write 10 questions about it and you'll find that the questions get repeated by those five friends 
and put them inside your FAQ table. Okay. And then lastly, at the very end, and guys, we're going to get into that exciting offer shortly about the checklist. We're also going to do some QA, et cetera. Um, so please, please uh, make sure you stick around. Um, lastly is an action section. Okay. So at the bottom of your page, make sure you repeat that call to action from the top. This is again, a, a bit that people forget. They don't do it. Okay. And I, I, I always say this phrase, and, and those of you who've watched workshops with me before will get bored of it, but it's like you watching a film, okay? You pay to watch a film, you get to the end of the film, and it just stops. There's no ending, it just abruptly stops, and you're left there thinking, shit, like, how did I even get here? Again, I reiterate, if you are lucky enough to get people scrolling down to the bottom of your page, they are flipping interested in your product, give them a call to action, Give them a way of taking action at the bottom. So if you don't have a call to action at the bottom, most people get this wrong. They have like related products. That's fine, but put that lower down. Make sure there is a call to action for people to take action beneath that FAQ section, okay? Again, really, really easy to do inside PageFly's Builder, okay? And this is super, super simple. Like I said, I've built this page simply. We're going to give you an opportunity to get this shortly. Uh, I want to get to some QA, but I want to ask a quick favor from you guys as well. So let me just uh, stop sharing my screen. I'll switch back to the camera quickly. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Guys, so I wanna ask you a quick favor, please. If you are enjoying this workshop, if you have enjoyed the content, do me a favor, take a screenshot of this. Maybe it's on your camera or take a, a screenshot of this video or something and post on Twitter. If you have a Twitter account and tag me in, I'm at Oliver Kenyon and tag PageFly in, I think they're just at PageFly, tag them both in. And if you upload that on your, on your wall on Twitter and say that you're enjoying this uh, content, I'm gonna send you a free PDF that breaks down the top 10 highest conversion principles beyond what we've just taught you. Uh, I will send that to you within the next 24 hours. But let's get into some Q and A. Guys, hopefully that was helpful. Can I get some more raised hands if that was helpful? Amazing. Thanks so much, guys. Wow, we're getting some great feedback. I just want to also share a couple of other things with you before I get into this QA. Okay, so can everyone see my screen? Hope you can. Yes, we're back on the screen. Cool. Perfect. Okay, guys. So as I explained, we have an exclusive offer for you guys. Okay, we have an exclusive offer that is just for people on this workshop. We have never offered this before. And I mean this, you can, you can Google it. We've never offered our checklist. We are going to give you the opportunity to grab our full 139 points. We probably covered, I don't know, what would you guys say? Maybe 20 points on this workshop, but this checklist has so much more. It's going to tell you about development side of things. It's going to have, tell you how about the whole funnel, how you increase your average order value, how you increase your lifetime value, and so, so much more. Okay, we have used this to build over nearly 4,000 high converting pages over the last 10 years, this blueprint. We haven't launched this up until uh, about two, three months ago. You're going to unleash some massive profits and regardless of your industry or experience. Okay. So they're all little things that I've shown you today that you can have open alongside PageFly or your, or your pages and implement the things yourself. You don't need designers, developers. We are also going to offer you that high converting page by page. Okay. So you can also grab that high converting page by page that you can just export and easily thanks to PageFly's amazing import system, import into your product pages and be up and running with it in a matter of minutes. Okay, so you can get this today only for $27, and I'll get into the Q&A very, very shortly. If you go to www.getconversionwise.com forward slash page, page fly. Again, we'll put this in the chat as well, but go to getconversionwise.com forward slash page fly. Feel free to open that link now. Uh, keep it open in your browser because I don't want to miss anything on the Q&A or any of the content. But yeah, if you just go to www.getconversionwise.com forward slash page fly, you should be taken to this page here, which follows all of our principles as well. Uh, there's a little snapshot of the, of the checklist uh, and you can then go ahead and grab the full checklist. Uh, you can then download that checklist uh, to your computer and have it whenever you build pages. You can also, like I said, get the opportunity to grab the template that we built today. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. And I'm going to get into some q and I'm going to keep my screen shared uh, purely because uh, I might need to show you things as I answer these Q&A. Um, Tony and the guys from PageFly are going to put some links in the chat. If you are not a PageFly 
uh, user as well. We have an exclusive offer for that as well. So if you want to jump on and trial PageFly, they will put a, a offer link in the chat as well. Uh, but like I said, get our checklist, get the template, go ahead to getconversionwise.com forward slash PageFly, and let's jump straight into some Q&A. Guys, if you have questions, please put them in the Q&A section because uh, that allows me just to mark them as done, et cetera, instead of scrolling through the chat because you guys have been incredible, giving me high fives, thumbs up, raise hands, that all goes into the chat. So I'm just going to look and focus on this uh, Q&A. So anonymous attendee, anonymous, okay, has said, can I apply this page layout to other industries? Example, electronics, exactly, 100%. Everything I have shown you on this workshop works better than any other method as a starting point as far as conversion rate optimization for any product okay any product or niche this works really 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 well okay there's very few products or niches that this doesn't work for so yes electronics 100 percent. just copy the principles in our checklist and inside what i've taught you today use the template on pagefly like i said it's an amazing uh, amazing bit of kit so grab the special offers that we have for you in the q a okay the guy the page fly team are going to put that in there and i think tony will probably sign off once i've done the q a okay so lake uh louise great to have you um we have 50 products will we do this each product or just the products we run ads for great question first and foremost do it for the products you run ads for because they are the most important products that are going to generate you profits but i would a thousand percent recommend you doing this across the across the board but the beauty, again, of PageFly is you can quite easily, even if you just go and grab the template now at getconversionwise.com forward slash PageFly, you can quite easily uh, have a page like this up and running in a matter of 20, 30 minutes and then test it with your paid media, split test it against what you're running right now. And I will guarantee that it will convert better. If not, I'll give you your money back on the checklist and the product page, because this has proven to work over the last 10 years for 3000 plus clients, nearly 4000 plus clients. So yes, 100%, um, I would do it first and foremost for your paid products. And then if, for example, you use a theme outside of, side of something like PageFly, try and get a developer or someone to uh, update all your product pages. You won't, you won't go wrong. Um, okay. What was the two things you need around a CTA? Perfect. All right, Kelly, I'll answer that for you now with the example. Uh, so two things around the CTA are, hope you can see this social proof and trust. Okay. We do that with a testimonial boom and trust is payment sales. Okay. If you, if you focus on any of our CTAs, so here we have trust with these icons, we have social proof. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a large testimonial. It could just be something like this. Again, guys, we haven't mentioned it, but if you sign up through that, uh, that offer today, you will also get uh, uh, an opportunity to join our Conversion Rate Academy where we have all these graphics for you. So you can just grab these graphics as well. But obviously, you'll get these on the pages as well. Um, so yeah, social proof and trust. Um, okay, so another one. Uh, what would be the expected conversion rate of a page like this? Assuming it's an impossible question to answer. It really does depend on your product your traffic, the quality, you obviously said FB ads, the industry standard and what we see as an industry standard across uh, default product pages on Shopify are around about 1%. Okay, so that's the industry normal. Uh, we can get people very, very high. I mean, I would be amazed if this didn't get you to the three, four percent, but we have had customers and I don't like showing these stats because they're unrealistic for everyone, but we've had customers converting at eight, nine percent with what we teach inside our academy, what our agency does, et cetera. Um, but it's a, it's quite a quite a hard question to ask. Okay, guys, I'm going to keep keep firing through these. Thanks for the presentation. Would you use uh, what? Would you use the color for variant color of CTA? Would you use the color? Okay, so for CTAs, as I said, pick um, pick a completely different color to your brand. Uh, if you are unsure what to use, Google uh, Amazon Orange hex code. Amazon Orange works really, really well. That's this color. Again, most people shop on Amazon. That's why. Or I like a vibrant green works really, really well. I think maybe on our conversion rate checklist page. Yeah, this green works really, really well as well. Okay, so those, we practice what we preach. CTA, social proof, trust. Call to, uh, get instant access now. Emoji. Okay, so we are practicing what we preach constantly. Uh, hopefully that's answered that. Um, Anita says, we have tens of thousands of products. We should do this on every page. Again, um, PageFly would be utilized for things like your paid traffic pages, uh, where you uh, really need to get return on investment. 
If then you can update your store by editing a global product page, then yes, I would do this. Uh, I understand when there's multiple SKUs, this is quite hard to do. Uh, but if there's a way of doing it, then yes, I would. I would follow this structure 100%. Shopify 2.0 makes that easier because you can drag and drop elements. But start with, to start with, do it on a couple of your best-selling products. Split test it. Tag me in on Twitter, at Oliver Kenyon. Tell me what the results were. I guarantee that if any of you take action on the stuff, you will increase your conversion rates. Um, let me just give you some social proof myself. So I'm going to take you inside our academy at conversionrateacademy.com. And I'm just going to go into our share your win forum. Okay. I haven't pre-done this. This is all here. This is all our users in here. Now look at some of these results from what a little snapshot. These guys have been through our full, tra full training, but this is a snapshot of what we teach inside the academy from 1.6 to 9.52 conversion rate. Nuts. Okay. 148% increase, 34% increase, 42% on AOV, 0.18 to 3.26. That's a thousand percent increase, nearly a thousand percent increase here, 80% increase, 76% increase, 115% increase. Okay. I don't need to keep going, but yes, basically what I'm trying to show you is not that we are the masters, but to take action because this stuff works. Elizabeth has asked, do you recommend using product pages as landing pages for advertising, or should we be thinking about landing pages differently? Um, the beauty with PageFly is it gives you the ability to create uh, both. So you have the ability inside PageFly uh, here to create product pages, uh, home pages, uh, or even just you know uh, generic pages that you can create more like landing pages. Um, the difference for those of you who don't know what a landing page and a product page is, a product page is your standardized product page that looks like the page we're creating now. A landing page is something that's more direct response. Um, I would probably split test them both. I think years ago, we used to preach that everyone would have to create a landing page, a dedicated page for their products. Now, that was because e-com wasn't big and not everyone was buying through a Shopify store. The majority of people online, even if they're buying through WooCom, uh, are buying on a standard side template that looks like the sort of like the page we're looking now. You've got, you know, product picture, call to action, details down the fold. So I think the world has become more accustomed in the last couple of years to buying from product pages. And that's why I think you can get just as high conversion rates on product pages as standalone landing pages. I would split test, split test too. I would also look into building advertorials or pre-sales uh, in between your ads and your product pages. We cover that all inside the academy. If you go to getconversionwise.com, uh, like I said on this offer, let me just share it again uh, here. Um, you will be able to get uh, full training if you join our academy on uh, advertorials and pre-sales. Um, okay, what if we have no social proof? You're not going to like this answer. Go and get it. Okay, you own a product. Even if you drop ship, you own a product. Buy 10 of those products, go and give them to neighbors, friends, families. If you have an email list, go and email them out. Put a post on Facebook and say, I want to give people products in return for an re honest review. There is no way that you cannot get at least three to five reviews of your product. No way. I, I don't believe it. So just go and get reviews. Go and hand product out. Give people product for free. It's worth, and again, it depends on how, how high ticket or low ticket your product is, but it's worth just giving people product in the sake for losing maybe $100 for what it will do to the increase in your conversion rates. Okay, Jonas, what do we do if we start a new brand and only have 10 testimonials? 10 is perfect. 10 is absolutely brilliant. You didn't see more than 10 on that page. You don't need to use something like looks or a, a FIFO or like a, a high, high intent um, uh, uh, review plugin. All you need is here, for example, uh, sorry, two seconds, just switching back to here. Uh, you need, obviously, when it says here, you can say by hundreds of happy customers, you can just say rated 4.9 by uh, by our, our, our amazing customers, by our verified customers. You don't need to mention hundreds or the number. And then look, we've got one review, two review, three, four, five, five reviews. 10 is, 10 is more than enough. Guys, I'm just going to quickly check this chat before we quickly uh, go back and run straight through these. Um, cool. Thank you, JB. So J JB, uh, Julian has put the correct link in there. Um, make sure you use the www. Sorry, we built, we built that uh, page on, on ClickFunnels because we uh, integrate with ClickFunnels on our payment system. Um, so just make sure you use the www. on the, on the PageFly link. Let me just reiterate it here. I'll link straight to it here as well. Um, here we go. Thank you, Kelly. Kelly said, what an amazing presentation. That means a lot. Cool. Let's carry on with these FAQs. Uh, We've got quite a lot. 
Um, so we've been asked, which element did you use to build that testimonial section? That's a great question. Let's have a look inside the builder. Uh, I can't remember what I used in the end, but let's have a quick look. This might just be uh, images, I think. Yeah, cool. So all I did was added a column and then I just built on top of that column. So this is an image, this is a headline, this is an image, and this is a block of text. So that's the great thing again about PageFly. It's super flexible. You can just build blocks on top of blocks. So insert a column, then go image, headline, image, text. Really, really simple. Okay, Leg has said, can you show the mobile view of this page? Uh, I can, I think. I'm not sure I've optimized the mobile yet. Um, it's a good question. We cover everything to do with mobile design inside our academy. No, you can see I haven't actually optimized it. Uh, I, sh I will do that. But um, the most important elements above the fold are what I said on the desktop. However, um, they are a few crucial elements on mobile that should be there. So when it comes to mobile, there's a couple of key rules. One is uh, make sure you have your value proposition, so that headline at the top then have your social proof. So basically these two elements have these at the top, then have product image, and then below the product image, a short description, and then your call to action. Just try and get your call to action as high up as possible. Underneath the call to action is your trust uh, with, your, with your payment seals, um, and then you can take it from there. Uh, okay, guys, I'm firing through these. You still got 15 left, so I'm going to get through these as quickly as possible. Should we uh, get looks reviews after final call to action section? Uh, no. No, nope, definitely not. Just have uh, a a physical. Just just use PageFly or something like this to actually have a, uh, a a bit of social proof here. Something like this works, or you know, repeat something like this, as in just one of them like this. You don't need to have full reviews at the bottom. Uh, you do that in your desire section as you go down the the, the fold. Uh, Bree here says, "I have to leave. Are you uh, emailing out the page template? We will email out the link." where you can get this page template. It's part of our checklist offer that we're offering today for $27 only. So yes, you can actually uh, grab this and we will email this out and PageFly will do the same as well. Um, Lake says, I don't have Twitter. Not a problem at all, guys. I just really value it. I'm trying to personally grow my Twitter at the moment. So if you tweet me, uh, I'll send you a, a little bonus um, and PageFly will probably do the same as well. Uh, Sean says, I'm already a member. Can I grab the checklist in the portal? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Sure. Sean, first and foremost, thank you so much for being a member of our academy. All you need to do to go and grab the checklist inside the academy is go here. Okay. Bonus section, click checklist. That's it. Very, very simple. Uh, done. Sorry, firing for them. Links don't work. That's been fixed. Just make sure you put in the www. Uh, have you split tested page flies pages versus native pages in Shopify? Um, yeah, no. So that's a great question. Um, PageFly is for a purpose. PageFly is for ease. If you're not a developer, if you're not a designer, if you want to drag and drop and build a page really, really simply and quickly, use PageFly. Okay, use PageFly. Implement the things that I've ta taught you, and that's the bonus of these builders. Have I split tested PageFly against other builders? I've used a lot of other builders and PageFly is definitely one of my favorites. It's, it's a super, super really good uh, builder. We use it personally. Uh, Dawn has said, I've heard <clears throat> offering three options is best, basic, most, greatest. Uh, if you're offering bundles, yes. I'm not gonna answer this question here because we cover everything bundles inside our academy. Um, so make sure you're inside there. Can you show me the trust banner at the top would work on mobile device? Uh, yeah, so it would look similar. It would just have to be two lines of text. So just try and get it on two lines. Don't go to three, it's too big. So it'd look exactly the same uh, like this. Uh, sorry, scroll up like this, but it would be on two lines of text, okay? Because that text is quite long, but that's a super important thing, Bree. Um, okay, uh, Hector, PageFly uh, needs Shopify to operate. Is there a workaround without Shopify? I don't think there is. Um, I'll let Tony answer that one. So I'm gonna leave that one on for Tony at the end. Uh, I'm just firing through these. Um, so Rufus said, we have uh, a few testimonials, all five stars. What do you suggest? Uh, Paleo Bakery is only six products right now. <clears throat> if, you're, if you're relating to the question where I said use 4.9 out of five, I'm not saying don't use five. It's just if you say five out of five by thousands of customers, it's very unrealistic. There's always going to be one person who hates you, hates your product, had a bad experience, going to rate you down. Um, sometimes it's funny. Even in testimonials, if there's a negative connotation in testimonial, but it's a positive review, it actually converts better because people believe it. So if, for example, your testimonial says something like a uh, little delayed on delivery, but when I got the product, wow, it was incredible. That's actually going to convert better, which is really, really strange. Um, Kelly has said, uh, is it better to send paid traffic to single product page or collection page? Split test it. 
really easy cop out answer for me. I know I'm not giving you any value there, but split test to it. It depends on what your, if your collection page is optimized. Okay, we cover that inside the academy, but you want your collection page to have uh, social proof on it. Uh, you want the same sort of elements that we've just gone through. Um, but I typically would see that a product page converts better. Um, can you show uh, this page on mobile? As I said, sorry, I should have optimized the mobile, but I've kind of covered the important elements. Um, should there always be a sale in the product? Meaning, should the product always be reduced? No, definitely not. But if you are, and most people do, then there's a way of doing it. And that's what I covered at the uh, beginning of this workshop. Guys, I think that's it. Thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to hand back over to Tony to kind of finish us off. Don't forget, if you want to get that special offer, make sure you go to getconversionwise.com forward slash payfi where you can buy the checklist. You can then buy the template that we've also shown you today. Uh, and you'll also get an opportunity to join our academy. We'd love to see you in there. And there's also going to be, as I said, a replay coming out with... Um, uh, page flies uh, special offer as well and we really recommend you use that thank you so much and i'm just gonna like i say hand back to tony and uh, sign off here myself thank you guys i really do appreciate it okay oliver uh thanks a lot thanks thank you very much and you guys as well uh yeah for uh joining today's uh, webinar um it was actually a great uh presentation so much value actually oliver and i appreciate a lot of uh, your time, uh, uh, your expertise, especially. And so, yeah, guys, um, well, um, uh, Oliver with uh, Conversion Wise uh, uh, Team uh, uh, Academy, it has a great value. I personally check it. it. And uh, strongly, guys, recommend actually to uh, give a try to because now it's uh, holiday seasons and it's actually a right investment, actually. Uh, for uh, actually $27 with especially checklist. Yeah, and uh, the template, uh, yeah, the template is uh, included in the uh, package as well. So I think it's very convenient, especially. So yeah, uh, I think uh, that's uh, end for today. Uh, for <clears throat> Perfect. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. We'll see you soon. See you, so bye-bye. Yeah. Cheers guys, bye. Cheers.